Hello! Did you know that in Blender, in the Render Properties tab, we can actually set the amount of time that it takes to render each frame? So if I set this to 10 seconds and hit Render, when the render is doing the sampling phase, it will only take 10 seconds to render it. And it will basically go up to the highest sample that it can in that amount of time. And now that it's rendered out, you can actually see that the time it took was 18 seconds, which is a little bit strange because we set it to be 10 seconds. But in this particular project, I've got some pretty crazy compositing going on in several other layers. So that's why it took about eight seconds longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> but where this value really is handy is in a situation where we wanted to render overnight. So sometimes I do that because I want something to be really high quality or it's gonna take a long time. And I don't really want it to render longer than I'm asleep because I'd like to use my computer again in the morning. And I don't really want it to render shorter so that it just stops sometime in the middle of the night and then it's just idling and wasting time. So what we could do is we could set this to be eight hours. Now at the moment that sets it to eight hours per frame. So that's a little bit ridiculous. We want it to render the whole animation over the course of eight hours. So basically we divide eight hours by how many frames we have, which is 100. If we just hit slash here, let's see what happens. Okay, we get 4.8 minutes per frame. Now remember, we had about eight extra seconds of compositing and rendering other layers. What we wanna do is, you can see it's at 4.8 minutes. Let's go minus eight seconds. And now you can see it's down to 4.7 minutes. So if I was going to sleep and I hit render, it would finish rendering in eight hours. And each frame would be rendered out to as high quality as it could be in 4.7 minutes. As a side note, let's just make sure that this max samples is something that's really big that my computer probably couldn't render in 4.7 minutes. That way it won't hit the max sample limit and we should be good. Before I sign off from this video, I wanted to mention that I've recently released a pack of looping smoke assets that are completely free. And these things can be ridiculously handy as a visual effects artist. So if you want to get your hands on them, there's a link in the description.